the aurora australis is closing in on its target, the Mertz Glacier. We appear to be a day away from seeing both it and the giant ACT-sized iceberg that broke off its ice tongue last year. The ship has been violently pushing through a field of icebergs to allow scientists to deploy sensors at a particular spot. The Aurora Australis is really carving its name in the ice. Also making work interesting at the moment is the fact that we are passing close to the South Magnetic Pole. First mate, Mike Watson explains how to get around the fact that normal compasses go haywire in this region. The problem we have down here on the ships is that obviously if you're trying to run off a magnetic compass, if you've got the South Magnetic Pole directly over you, you've got no, um, there's basically there's no vectors of force, vectors of magnetic force that you're going to drive the compass to actually show you which way is north or south. So you come down here and uh, you've got to rely on, uh, on our uh, regular gyro compasses, which are, are fine, we have no problem with that. It's on the occasion when you, when you lose all that stuff and you have to use a magnetic compass that so you can get into some trouble. So what does it do to a normal compass? On the magnetic pole, you've got lines of force that are coming out from the core of the Earth uh, that come out, arc up and around over the surface of the Earth at the equator. It's called the magnetic equator. They're directly parallel with the Earth's surface, so you get your maximum directionality on those forces, and then they go into the pole at the north. And what happens is with a compass needle, you've got a slightly magnetized needle. Those magnetic lines of force act on that to bring it into alignment. And the closer you are to the poles, the less force you have because obviously the, these, these, as these things, as these lines come in vertically, there's nothing really to point the compass. A lot of the instruments we put out, uh, they just have a, they can get by with a magnetic compass and it's fine most places in the world. Uh, just causes a, a few difficulties in this particular spot. Ah, there's an alarm. <laughs> as a uh, backup, though, we can bring this uh, Apart from the gyro, and despite what I just said about the, uh, the magnetic compass is not working, uh, we can bring this uh, magnetic compass repeater on, which will let us, we get a little bit further away, it gives us at least a basic way of navigating north or south uh, to get away. Um, honestly, if it, if it happened down here though, we'd probably end up uh, relying on GPS to get us on, which gives you a course over ground, unrelated to magnetics, gyros, anything. With or without a compass, perhaps the Mertz Glacier tomorrow. Karen Barlow, Antarctica.